Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here at Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, bringing you episode number 12 of Three Beers and a Whiskey, featuring the band Thieves. Here's beer number two. Actually, I think the Instagram joke is on this guy here. Was it Instagram, right? Chris. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. So, uh, yeah, uh, if anybody either follows, actually, it started on Thieves, but then I jumped in with Three Beers and Whiskey. Uh, somebody somewhere along, who was it that cracked the joke about like, oh, let's see if Nate can make it past two beers? Oh, yes. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you called yourself out. It's, a lo- it's like a, a, an inside joke from, when was the Cheever Tour? 2012? 2011, yeah. 2011, where we went to, we played in Boston. We're on tour with our friends in, uh, in Sucker Punch and Far From nice. Proper. Cool. And we played in Boston, and we used to have some friends. Boston. Who relocated Boston. to Austin, but then re-relocated back to Boston. It mm-hmm. feels like home. Mm-hmm. And so they threw us a big show in Boston, and we were just recounting the night, and I had just, I had, it had just... It was I a really good show. There it was, was a, a great show. show, and so we're all kind of celebrating mm-hmm. in our own ways. And they, I don't know. I got, I got trashed. Like, that night. Yeah, that Before you go on years. to any embarrassing <laughs> stories, uh, mom's online too. Shout out to Nathan's mom. Nathan's mom. Is she still watching? Is your mom Juliana? Yes. 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 <laughs> well, I, I mean, I just, the joke was I only had two beers then, but I got shit house. I got trapped. <laughs> yeah. That's literally so the joke. You came up to me at the club. I was loaded out. It sounds like you got roofied. I remember the night. I was smoking a cig after the gig, and I come up to him. He was kind of like leaning against the wall. I was like, dude, what's up, man? He's like, man, just had two beers at the club? Fucking trash. <laughs> <laughs> Seven years later, it's and so now it's a thing. It's if it's we're like we're drinking a beer, they're like, "Only well, two, come on." <laughs> and so yeah, when yeah. it was three beers and a whiskey, it was like, I mean, that's over my limit. Twice yeah. the limit. It's about an average Tuesday night's worth of drinking. Yeah, it's really. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it's balanced out as far as tolerance. Yeah, sure is. So we have to say another shout out to Jennifer Moody and Bobby Bookout. Oh, oh so Bobby, hey, there's beans, dude. <laughs> Where the fuck is my mom? Yeah, where the fuck is my mom? I'm talking about So, yeah, I mean, where is she? Where is she now? Where is she at? So, um, do we have, a, and I think I, I asked this, and we jumped the rails on it, but what's uh, for the next show, or what's coming up for you guys as far as people going to see Thieves performing? Live. What, what do we got? What's going on? What's happening? Can we, can we announce that? Oh, like soft, oh, 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 okay. We can soft no, I mean, it, yeah, soft announce if you don't want to call out names, locations or something. No, no, no. So we, we've been a band for 10 years this year. It's actually... Congrats. A decade! Cheers. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, there. Cheers. 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 Cool. Uh, yeah, March 12th, I think is our, our birthday. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, when yeah. we played our first show at Red 7. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Red 7. We'll pour it out. No, 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 no. We'll pour it out. The and, uh, <laughs> no, so we're, doing, we're, put, we're in the process of putting together a 10 year anniversary, anniversary show that we'll, we'll play a bunch of old songs from all of our records. Every record. And get all of our hopefully get all of our drummers to oh, really? play those songs that they were nice. Yeah, come and take yeah. it. Uh, no, we we oh, have right. it all figured out, but we're we can't like I said, soft that. enough. So. No, 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 that's cool, that's cool. No, so we better go and take it under the bus on that on purpose. Yeah, at the end of May. Okay, cool. We'll play like a good hour and a half set or something like that. It'll be, it'll be a while. Well, you're going to need a couple of drummers to go ahead and play <laughs> yeah, an hour and a half set. For sure. Um, so, so speaking okay. about an hour and a half set, uh, one of our uh, peeps here mm-hmm. in the audience wants to know when Chris and Nathan are going to start a country band. Ooh. Oh, uh, that's a bad what kind of right? yeah, that's that's weird shit is that? Yeah. We have one practice. Uh, we did have one gig. And we oh, have one a name. One gig at Music Lab with just me and Nate. Um, but we, have a name. we did have a name. What was the big, big Texas high water country band? <laughs> 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 
I think a big Texas highway, high water, high water country man. Yeah, oh, Jesus. It originally Christ. started in just <laughs> big Texas. We got to say it's like that. Big Texas. Big, big Texas. Texas. Which was the name? That of just sounds like the way the unreleased. Speaks. Cabaret. Yes, <laughs> right, yes, exactly. But uh, that, yeah, that's uh, funny. Nate, Nate, and I are in three bands together. Mm-hmm. And, uh, <laughs> I play. And, uh, uh, I do fill in work in a fourth cover band. I'm sure Nate. I have, that, that yeah, yeah, I have like two or three like theoretical high concept oh. bands. Started <laughs> 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 with all been playing now. We just don't have any music. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's even. Uh, but yeah, yeah. yeah. But they've been bands for like uh, years and years. Years Summers. longer than years. years. Real bands. More than that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that, that's uh, once all the other bands kind of dwindle down, fall apart. That's when uh, I think we're gonna take the uh, the big Texas route. Big Texas. Well, hey, you know, <laughs> Wayne is, Wayne is we are out. deep in the heart of, and you know, in Texas, country is king. So yes. I mean, you know, that's what I'm saying. <sighs> uh, yeah, oh, I, yeah, text, yeah. Uh, I text my friend Bill. Uh, Bill Greida, <laughs> you're watching. Bill. And he just uh, maybe once a year, and just tell him like, hey, uh, hope everything's cool. By the way, you're still in the country band. Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 We've been doing that for like four years now. Yeah. Yeah. He's, 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 every time, and he responds. Yeah, every time he's like, things have been great, man. Good to hear from you. <clears throat> of course. <laughs> <laughs> that last gig was great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for. Yeah, so that'll come uh, when it comes, but no, no worries on that one. So we've got uh, eight songs in, and we talked about the kicking around, it's going to be EP, how are you going to split it up and do that, and then we'll talk about and towards the end of your six months or so before that comes out, we've got a, a soft announcement of a gig coming up in May. South by, what uh, what's else plans for it, it, Everybody in the world knows. South by Southwest, come on, that rules the world in March yeah. in Austin, Texas. You got everybody in the world is coming here. Um, are y'all going to be in town? Are y'all going to do anything? And now, obviously, as thieves, you're not doing anything, or you'd be telling us, because right. that's only three weeks away. Yeah. yeah. But uh, what are you guys? What are you guys going to do? Y'all hang out? Y'all go do any we, South by Southwest stuff? Thieves used to rule South, but we would play six gigs in three days. You know, just like yeah, together. four in the morning, and then you play another gig at yeah. two in the afternoon. And we would, yeah. we would wear it thin uh, as far as we could, as far as the week goes. Yeah. And we're kind of at the point now where it's it's more, I know we, we sound old now too, but it's just more of a <laughs> headache for yeah. us to get out there and, and try, <laughs> try to park it's motor shit in. It's a headache. It's a headache. But, okay, so even, yeah, but yeah. individually, I mean, like, okay, so not as a musician going to perform, but I mean, y'all got any plans to go out there and uh, hit up anything, anything's coming in that y'all want to go see? Yeah, I work production, stage production, and lighting, so yeah, I'm, that's... Stage production, can you say where, or what? Or you... uh, I, I, work, I do freelance and contract work. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, that's a big money week for me, so uh, not that's another so reason to So you're going to be to, uh, to the, busting ass anyway. To the, yeah. to the free thief shows, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, mm. So yeah, <laughs> when I got a big money day coming in on stage, so... Also, we've done, I mean, like Chris said, when we were first starting out, we'd play three, four, five, six gigs during South by, like sometimes two, three gigs a day. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, that's not just like for local bands, like we play with bands that were coming in from the road and playing at noon, three, nine, and one a.m. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. You know? and, and, and it's fun and it's great. It's a, it's a real big headache and it's a real big hassle navigating downtown. Mm-hmm. And then it's even worse we now. were, and that was yeah. when we were like unofficial and we still had venues downtown that would book us for nothing, like Red 7 was still a thing, James was still in town doing giant steps and booking a flush, and, and then when, about the time where those venues started shutting down was the first year that we were an official South by artist, oh. after having applied for like yeah. two or three uh, yeah, years, yeah. Three, four years ago. And, uh, and so we were stoked about that, but being an official South by artist, I would assume if you're a nobody, I'm sure it's great for actual professional real bands with big names, but for us it was kind of, 
it was more of a drag and a bummer and a cap on how oh, I was good. There you go. That's good. It's a cap on my capabilities as a band because they, 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 they only let you play the gig and they, they don't let you play any of the free shit. Oh, that's not yeah. Uh, around as long as yeah, you play as time. long as you don't promote it, you don't talk about it, yeah. you don't yeah. ever mention that you've got a South yeah. yeah. official exactly. show. Exactly. So it oh, it still is. Sure. And the one, the one official South by show we played. How long ago was that? With yeah, I don't. We stopped applying just because after like yeah, two years in the world, then it was it wasn't worth it. You know? We played and we played uh, with other local bands, which was fine because they were all of our friends. But cool bands. We could have been an unofficial band to play and, and played play. with our friends and still been able to play all these other shows. Yeah, and gotcha. Yeah, yeah. so the down run was like yeah. you just really are getting pigeonholed and like okay, this is all you're gonna do, and you're, you guys are like. Oh, Right. Shit for free. Yeah, and, and, and most of them, like most of our friends and fans, don't, don't have money for wristbands and yeah. shit. Sure. And, they, and if they want to pay to get in, it's going to be $25 to see uh, the same local band that they saw they, last see, month. They, you know what I mean? Or a week ago, or two weeks from now. Yeah, yeah and it's just it's like it's not worth it. We, yeah. uh, our shows, we work best when we have people that give a f about us watching us. Right. And if there's not that there, it's like it's a little awkward. We'll always do our thing, you know, we'll throw down as hard as we can. and Make it as awkward for every other band around us, but that's you know that's, that's the best way to go at it. Oh, it definitely has its benefits. Yeah, just go. Yeah. It, it definitely has its benefits to doing it, but it just it doesn't it doesn't ever seem to really unless you do get anything. the f label comes to you guys and says, "Oh my God, I'm from Columbia Records." And yeah. is Columbia Records even a thing anymore? Yeah, so yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not 1994 where you yeah. like. A and R dudes yeah, come to your show and yeah, sign you. Know I mean? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, not yeah, only I mean, these the, suits. Uh, the judging how stupid I look. Conceptually, South by still has that of like, oh, you've got a showcase, so you're you're showcasing playing for a label or a right. suit or something like that. Yeah, uh, but yeah, that was in I mean, the eighties and their early nineties. Yeah, yeah that's what I was and saying. that's part of the that's the coolest part of South by to me was you would see these bills. And you would go see a band, and it's, it's like, oh, they're playing in the front part of some venue or bar that has never had a show. Never. never doesn't even have a stage. At 2 p.m. You know. I mean, we played, we played in the parking lot of a meat market on South Congress. And yeah. with, there was like, it was a two-stage show, and oh, people could just, you could just walk by and see a show happening. And stuff like that is what I remember about South by. I remember people buying, park, renting parking lots and throwing up tents. And yes, and yeah. it still, it still it. does happen. Exactly. But just, and it's, it, it's a matter of having to go wander around and live for it. And boy, I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. when you push to the east of 35, oh, yeah. and the territory for walking around yeah. and yeah. seeing music for South by now is... Oh, wait. What, what? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. crazy. So... Yeah, so absolutely. we are two beers in. Oh. Thank you very much for Thieves for being our half of Thieves. So cheers to our audience. All right, thank and you very much. In-house, too. Cheers, cheers, cheers to you guys. our in-house. Well, see people cool. without beers in here. What is it? Yeah, what's going on? Pussy shit. What's your beer? Oh, it's hot. What's a water burger cup? Thank you so much. Thank you. Bro. Nathan, uh, <laughs> let Lauren, uh, this is from Nicholas, this is from Nathan, this is from Nicholas Struber. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let Lauren and I know when the anniversary show is. Okay. Oh, well, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a soft enough. End of, right? Yeah, end of May is the soft. Oh, that's what you were talking about earlier. Yeah, yeah. yeah. end of May. End of May. May what? Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> what a dick! <laughs> Soft means Dude. flaccid announcement. <laughs> 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 speaking of South so, Live, hold on, sorry, the last time we played South Live, I just realized this. They only gave us one artist for spam. That's the best story. story. This is the oh, best story. For four guys, four guys in the same backpack that we've been sharing yearly yeah. for four <laughs> years. <laughs> this is a we one shot something intrinsically wrong oh, with that. You go to the okay, so you go to the convention center and you and and you say, I went to pick it up, and you say, I'm a, yeah, I'm an I'm a artist, I'm a South by artist. They say, great, here's your artist wristband. I'm like, oh, there's four of us. And you're like, one. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, you know, and I'm thinking yeah. to myself, well, at least we all get those cool backpacks with the, the South by patch on it. <laughs> and, and they say, and here's your backpack, and here's your one parking 
pass that gets you just a block closer than everyone else can get, which yeah. still is bullshit. Yeah. And so, and, and they just give me one backpack. And, uh, the I've been sharing this okay. backpack for years. So now. Bill had it for a year. We do it every year. So honestly, it I've had had like it, it makes out of like three years now. All right, thank you very much for tuning in and watching that episode three, Beers and Whiskey with Thieves. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, click on the little bell notification so you won't miss future interviews and videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey.